Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In the first hour of this episode I talk about the strum device and in the second hour I talk about the impact it has on social life by transforming chords like this into strummed chords like this. So let's get started. So this is the strum device and I open the help page with F1. So this is the strum device and in the top um, there is a box with time and the default value is 1x and below it there is another selection box with um, different selection options for example seconds milliseconds bar half notes then quarter notes to 32 notes and dotted and triplet notes so this means um, the these two uh, boxes are connected which is which each which each other so this is the um, the first option where you can configure like what what time base you want to have and here you can change um, the speed of the strumming in the of the current time base so if you have um, if I play one chord for example with a 30 30 second note and increase the, the speed or increase the time the speed is slower so um, if the time is a lower the speed is faster and if the time is higher the speed is slower for example and if I put it on 16 the same effect but only with 16 so below that there are the steps and I, uh, I can configure four steps and uh, the secret of those four steps you see at those um, triangles and you can switch those triangles by clicking on them to up or down so um, if i click on the first one it, and it um, goes upwards it plays upwards if i click on on the other side and down it plays downwards and um, with the steps i can configure four steps after each other how it should be played so first step down second step down third step down fourth step up or the other way around okay um, one thing that is n that is difficult is you can't reset these so if you're here and you want to start from here again there's no chance you, you have to um, put in some notes to get back to the the start of this um, sequence um, I don't know how to uh, to, to um, create a workaround for that because sometimes you you have like a, sequ a sequence like this for example and you always want to um, uh, start from this position here not in between somewhere so um, maybe you have to play all the time four notes and never miss one so you always be back on here or you have to find another way to reset this in, with uh, very small um, notes <laughs> that uh, with no velocity and no gain so you can just reset them here so yeah and the stride is something um, that where you where notes are played together so if i um, have only a stride of one then every note will play it 
we will, will, will be played after each other. If I have a stride of two, two notes are played at the same time. So if I press three notes, maybe make it a little bit slower, not that slow. Step, one step. If I play four notes, So <clears throat> with this four, four chord, the first two notes are played and then the second two notes are played. And in the inspector, there's um, uh, something uh, that is called a grace period. And with the grace period, um, the computer decides which notes should be played as a strum. So it waits 45 seconds when you, when you uh, hit the keys to decide whether it's a strum or it's a, another chord or another note. So if you increase it to one second and you press now the keys, it needs one second to decide, okay, all those notes I press now on, on my keys, um, depending to the same chord. So this is a delay. But I have one second time to press all notes and hold hold them. Now you always should remember this is a delay of 45 milliseconds when playing. So that's already the um, the strum device, um, very simple but very nice. You can do really nice things with it. And yeah, let me know what you think about it. If you want to support the channel, just leave some comments here. Comments is something the algorithm likes, so please comment everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then stay healthy and see you soon. Bye bye.